So this is a Fatima. This is a place that uh, anyone who has a devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary ought not to miss uh, to visit. Uh, this place, um, for those who may not know exactly the history, in 1917, on uh, 13th of May, the Lord um, sent his mother here in this particular place. And of course, shortly before that, in the previous year, in 1916, uh, the, the angel and appeared to, uh, to Saint now, Saint Lucia. Uh, uh, they have a spring at home, a pool of water, kind of. And that's where the angel appeared. And uh, the angel was preparing them, telling them to repent and to pray more. But also the following year, um, Blessed Virgin Mary appeared here to them. Uh, it's just a place just uh, right on this side here. It's not very far. That's where uh, he, she appeared. And when she appeared, she told them to pray for uh, the world, uh, to, be, uh, to be saved for conversion of the world, conversion of Russia specifically, but also for the end of the Second World War. And she said that if they pray, then Portugal was uh, not going to war as a sign that, uh, sure, this message was coming from God. And for sure, uh, Portugal did not go to war in the Second World War. And so these children propagated uh, the, the prayer of the rosary, uh, reparation, and of course honoring every first Saturday of the month uh, for the Immaculate of Mary and, and to pray for conversion of the world, receiving the Eucharist, but also at the same time uh, going for confession, people uh, confessing. And so this devotion has gone on until now. I have visited this place. It's a beautiful place. The church that you can see behind me in there is the Basilica of the Holy Rosary. Uh, the Basilica exactly uh, which was erected um, to be able to honor our blessing Virgin Mary in this place. This devotion has spread everywhere in the world and has brought beautiful conversions in the lives of people. And I'm blessed to be here. I've decided to be here for so many years. And I think the Lord just wanted me to be here this particular time. And I rejoice in what God is doing, and I glorify God. Just like Mary said, my song glorifies the Lord is exactly what I feel in my heart, that the Lord is glorifying himself in this place. So um, there are many miracles and wonders and signs that have happened in this area. So maybe you can also plan and come here and experience for yourself, being able to go to the tomb of blessed, um, I mean not blessed, but St. Uh, Lucia, St. Uh, Francesco, and also uh, St. Lucia, uh, and Jacinta and Lucia and Francesco have been able to go to their graves and are praying to on the very spot where um, the apparition occurred and I'm really blessed and I pray that the whole world will know about this place and perpetuate this devotion.